Hello everyone, and yes, I have done quite a dr drastic change to my hair. I have coloured it blue, and this is something I thought I would never do in my life. I was always like, I'm never going to colour my hair a weird colour, like I'm never going to colour it blue. I was like, maybe I could do purple or pink, but definitely never blue or green. Here I am with bluish, purplish hair. I was really afraid it was going to be like turquoisey purple, turquoisey blue I mean, and in some lightings it looks like that so I don't know how it looks to you guys now. It's semi-permanent, it goes out after five to ten washes and I know loads of people are probably gonna say it's gonna wash out green but I hope not because I've watched a video and she said if you use purple shampoo then probably won't wash, wash out green so I hope it doesn't and if it does maybe I'll just buy a pink hair dye uh, but yeah I used the L'Oreal Colorista and I did vlog it so that vlog's probably up on my vlog channel right now which is linked down below if it's not on this channel I don't know but today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial to match my hair which is cool fun I don't know but yeah as I said this hair dye will wash out and I don't know what I think about it. I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it. I don't hate it. I do think it's quite cool. Another thing we did was we cut <coughs> we cut curtain bangs. My friend helped me because I'd never be able to do it myself. And I do quite like them. Uh, I think I'll probably, like next time I go to my hairdresser, I'll say that I want this because I do like the curtain bangs. And I mean, it's fun to have a, a different color. Like I'm probably, gonna want to try other colours after this like I'm probably gonna want to try pink and purple after this because it's just so fun because they like wash out and it's just I don't know enough rambling if you're new to my channel um I had blonde hair before you can just click on an old video and you'll see it but um yeah this is very unlike me like for the longest time I've had the same hair colour okay this is turning into a hair video it's actually supposed to be a chit chat get ready with me makeup tutorial thingy because I really wanted to talk about my hair with you guys but so I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram and Snapchat and I have got quite a few that I'm gonna answer while I'm showing you my makeup enough talk about my hair if you're not already subscribed, please do click the subscribe button and now I'm just going to get on with the tutorial. I think I'm going to start with the eyeshadow because that is the most fun thing. And I'm using my NYX Brights palette. Okay, I'm going to start off with this light purple in my transition. That's my transition shade. First question is how do you keep your hair in such a good condition and when did you start dyeing your hair? So if you are subscribed to my vlog channel, I did do a how I... Um, highlight my hair which was like four years ago which was probably the first well it was the first time I bleached my hair um, but before that I have been dyeing my hair brown when I was little I used to like dye it brown so I think it was like four years ago or three years ago when I highlighted my hair at home which was the first time I bleached it and then I didn't do it for ages and then last year I dyed it like platinum and blonde or I highlighted it and since then I've been doing that the reason why my hair is in such good condition I think is because I used to have really long damaged hair and then now I've started cutting it short like so yeah the answer to that is I think it's because I cut my hair quite regularly regularly because I want short hair so then I cut the like dead ends off and I never straighten my hair or use heat on it and I don't use hair ties with metal on metal on i have the worst spot there next question is how did you get the courage to dye your hair and the answer to that is the only reason i'm i would ever dare to dye my hair blue like i did now is because it's a washout color and it will wash out hopefully but yeah i've watched so many reviews and it does look like it has gone completely out of people's hair and then i just think like it's only hair it will grow out it will fade I should have put concealer on my eyes because my eyes are so veiny but then again I am doing a purpley blue look and my veins are purpley blue so it doesn't really matter. So now I'm taking this purple, the purple I used earlier was this light one and I'm just going to be applying this to the outer corner. This is going to be like kind of a halo eye so I guess we applied a lot of that purple colour on the inner corner as well and in the crease and on the outer corner gonna moisturize I'm taking this purple and applying this to the outer corner and the crease we're kind of gonna 
do a half cut crease with this. Positivity, possibility, never end, it's like the sea. Keep your head up or you'll never get to see. Live like this, you'll live like me. Riding in a black S5. And now applying the purple to my inner corner. So now I'm just going to be blending out the edges. Get a good girl to get on her knees. Live your life to the fullest, please. Don't let that shit fly by like a... So I'm going to do my other eye on off camera because it's going to take ages. Okay, so now I've just been blending both of these sides out. Now I'm going to be cutting the crease a little bit. I'm just using my Locket Concealer and I'm just taking it on a flat brush and I'm just going to be applying it to the centre because... So there we go, now I've applied a little bit of that. I'm actually going to be cutting my crease. Hey guys, I need to find the perfect blue that's going to match my hair. So I found this palette from Front Cover. I know it's a brand like no one really has or heard of. Like I've never heard of it before until I got it. I really like this colour here called Sea Palace. I will link this palette down below if I can find it anywhere. Packing that on my brush because I do not know how good or bad the payoff, colour payoff is on this palette. It's probably quite bad. Oh, that is beautiful. Can you see that guys? Look at that. Wow. The colour payoff is actually so good. I feel like I'm a mermaid. Now I'm taking this colour again. And now I'm just applying this where I cut the crease. I would like to get to know if I could be. I'm gonna go with Sea Palace and put that under my lid. So now I'm going in with my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm taking the I'm taking Vermeer. I'm going to be applying this to my inner corner. And then I'm taking Tempura, which is this matte eggshell colour, and I'm applying this to my brow bone. And then I'm taking Fluffy Brush and just blending on my brow bone. Okay, this look is very dramatic. So I feel like I need eyeliner for this look and I'm gonna answer another question now. Do you plan to ever dye your hair again? And yes, I probably will dye my hair again. If I'm not gonna dye it lighter, then I'll probably dye it pink because I've always wanted to try like this pastel pink color. Aw, and she said, I can tell that you really enjoy YouTube and we can see that in the way you treat your subscribers. You're really sweet, thank you. Thank you so much. Like those messages make my day, it's like, I'm so happy that you guys like can see that I really love you guys and I wish I could meet all of you and hug you because I see you guys like my best friends, like honestly. So I'm using the Super Cat eyeliner. Now it just looks super weird because I haven't done any concealer or anything or my eyebrows but I'm gonna do my mascara right now and all my good mascaras and my better than sex mascara is at my mum's so I'm just having to use like really old mascara and I'm having to borrow my sister's eyelash colours which are really annoying, I hate them. What is your favourite brand to shop from? It's really hard. I really like Brandy Melville. I love um, Topshop and I absolutely love Urban Outfitters, but I hardly ever shop from them because they're so expensive and we don't have one where I live. So I just did my eyebrow and my foundation routine. I didn't do my full eyebrow routine though, but I just filled them in. And I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, and yes, I'm gonna use this. I've almost used it up. And to match the purple theme, I'm using my 
Vivid Baked Highlighter in Pink Lights by Makeup Revolution. Uh, do you have a Tumblr account? I do, it is always in the description down below. I don't know how to say it, it's like Vicious Angels, but it's got like an X in and it's just like, but I'm hardly ever on there. Sometimes I am. So you can follow me, I'll answer all of your guys' questions that you send me on there. Favourite movie? This one's really hard, I don't know if I have a favourite movie. I'm taking the blush from here. My f I, I don't know if I have a favourite movie, like I'm not a movie person. But I really like White Chicks, I think it's so funny. And you guys have probably seen it. Like my boyfriend's coming soon and we're gonna go for a run. And I'm gonna have to take this all off. What don't you do for YouTube? I've been doing loads of live streams recently on you now. You guys can go follow me, it's down below. But I've always wanted to, I, I wanted to use my Gerard Cosmetics in both of them, but I never un ended up doing them. Because I did two you nows where I was doing my makeup, but yeah. Now I'm gonna use my Gerard Cosmetics Metallic Purple Lipstick. It's a matte lipstick and this is the perfect time to use this lipstick, so I'm really excited. So now I'm just going to be setting my face with my Master Fix Studio Setting Spray by Maybelline and I'm just going to spray this. There we go! This is the finished makeup. I'm going to see if I have some more questions to answer. Oh yeah, favourite character in Scam. I really like Nora and Evan, but I would... I also really like Sana, so I don't know. Those three. And someone asked me, if a fan saw you, are they allowed to say hi and get a hug? Of course you guys can do that. Like, I am really awkward, but I still really want to talk to you. And I'm going to try my best not to be. But I'm always awkward when I'm meeting new people and it's just something I can't help. But I will, I would definitely love to, like, meet you guys, hug you and take a picture and just, like, chat to you guys. Because I love you guys so much and you are my everything. Like, you're honestly my best friends, so... Okay, I'm actually quite liking my hair now when it's got this makeup to go to it. Like, I feel like this, it suits. Your favourite outfit with your Konken backpack. This is my Konken backpack. I have a whole video on it. I honestly wear everything with this bag. It is my favourite bag. I wear it every day. But I love wearing mum jeans and Converse or mum jeans and my Nike Roche runs and my bomber jacket with it, or my jean jacket with this. I love my jean jacket with this, and then just like, my jean jacket, this, and maybe my flowy, my flowy black pants from Sarah. Would you consider studying ve veterinary or zoology, zoology or any animal-based fields in uni since you're such an animal person? Honestly, no, because I, I don't know, it's such, like, mu there's so much res responsibilities and I, I feel like I'd rather work with something creative and as much as I love w working with animals, I just don't think I'd bear to see, like, the blood and, like, animals that had to be put down, stuff like that. <laughs> I know it's really stupid, but that's just how I feel. How did you decide to become a YouTuber? I was 11 years old and I was just playing around. I never thought it would get to this point. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. And I kind of hope you like my new hair, but if you don't, then I honestly don't care. Um, but yeah, if you do enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. I love you all so, so much. You mean everything to me. Please stay yourself and don't let anyone tell you what you can do or what you should wear because you're the only one who can decide that. I love you all so, so much. Bye.